video is coming it's okay not an issue so once again uh, good morning to all of you and uh, it's a pleasure to be with all of you to explain what we are actually doing uh, with respect to uh, the open source solutions that we are building for our own language and how it can be leveraged even for uh, uh, tamil in the coming days and uh, yeah so as i said i am not new to most of you uh, because i work with uh, t srinivasan we work with uh, gnu anwar in uh, raja muttaya research library and uh, we digitized a lot of uh, tamil books and made it available on internet archive i'm just going to quickly show you guys what recording is on and uh, inform for uh, so most of us know each other because of our work around uh, wikimedia projects okay so uh, uh, everyone have been contributing in our own uh, levels to see that our language has a representation with uh, various open source uh, project so to start with uh, uh, i'll just give you an intro on what we are actually doing okay so i have a collective um, uh, called sanjaya and i also have a non profit called sanjay foundation okay i'll introduce why we actually started these things and what we do let me share my screen quickly okay can you see my screen now can someone confirm perfect so sanjay is a collective that we initiated back in 2010 okay even before that from 2005 i have been writing about technology in canada especially uh, about free and open source software under my special blog called linuxiana.net okay so this is where i used to write about uh, uh, knowing uh, technology knowing free and open source software why we should not do piracy and things like that okay that's how my journey to the free and open source software and community started then i have been uh, participating in various uh, communities like wikimedia foundation uh, uh, wikimedia project for canada wikisource uh, wikidata wiki commons etc and then uh, i work with uh, mozilla Uh, for uh, localizing firefox and we also started finding out so many issues related to fonts etc and we wanted that to be resolved so hence we started a initiative called sanchaya before this we used to go to various colleges and schools and tell people how to use wikipedia how to use ubuntu how to install it and how to use the local interface for using them right so that fe- people feel comfortable to work with the um linux machines or any technology for that matter it does not matter whether it is linux or windows but if by giving the flavor of language we can make them use it easily without having to worry about uh, the technology so that was the idea and when sanjay came in we started uh, most of the things are in uh, canada don't worry about it yeah so this is our simple screen in english so we wanted uh, a uh, lot of language technology to be built so that uh, people recording is on impact in the future projects okay so that's how this entire sanchaya was actually like built so uh, i found that uh, people Uh, didn't actually uh, share uh, what they were doing for canada and technology so we initiated a project called hj wherein it was almost like a uh, uh, ted talk for canada uh, so we started this in 2011 uh, and then we actually made all the technology people to come together and uh, uh, work with uh, people and share what they have done for language etc and they shared some very interesting stuff from there most of the uh discussions around technology started and uh, after that uh, we started creating projects which showcases how to use international uh, uh standards for language technology development and how to actually work with community to make things happen 
okay so hence we ended up creating a portal called uh, pustaka sanchaya which it does the index of all digital library of india um, books and uh, makes it easier for people to access it earlier these books were not accessible to public if they used to type something in kannada or tamil and stuff like that now if i type anything in uh, kannada in google they might end up finding this book that you actually see here okay digital library india project was shut down uh, because of copyright issues but by that time people of the respective language had actually uh, captured all those files and they had kept copies for themselves they found it useful uh, but they were not able to search easily and create a category easily and things like that so we actually did a crowdsourcing for kannada books and made this index possible and that is when i realized that there is no index for kannada as such kannada books index so this also became one of the very first kannada index online then when the digital library of project uh, india project was shut down we took the project to internet archive and uh, we also added the metadata metadata is nothing but the data related to a book uh, in its entirety right whether uh, what is the book name author name publisher name and uh, what is the subject when it was published and all things and also we re retain the data which gave the background for this particular file if it is if this particular file was taken from digital library of india we wanted people to remember that it was taken from there okay so uh, we created all that and now you can see that many books are actually being accessed by people so many times so most of these things uh, are part of our open source uh, journey and uh, projects then similarly we wanted people to be able to research on very old uh, literature uh, classical literature of kannada so one of that is uh, vachana sahitya and that comes from 10th 11th and 12th century uh, and to do research on such content it was very very difficult back in uh, 2010 11 right and by the time i got to know about the requirement it was almost like 2012 13 and uh, uh, vachana sahitya has around 25000 poems or vachanas and uh, it it was one of the revolutionary social movement here in karnataka okay basavanna and other people were uh, looking for social um, um, equality and they wanted to remove the uh, what is it uh, religious uh, religion system uh, and they wanted to give more importance to uh, the work and that's how the saying work is worship from basavanna came into existence okay and if you say uh, how many times kayaka or uh, it's a uh, kannada word for work how many times it has been used in all these 25000 vachanas and how many uh, people have used it and how many times it has been used it and in what occurrence it has been used it right it has been used and in which book i can actually find and what is the uh, uh vachana number under which this is available in a book and what is the profile of that particular person who actually wrote it right so giving all these things made researchers life so easier that now we actually apply this to lot of other kannada literature and even dasa sahitya or kirtanas all other things we actually use it for that we have already implemented that to multiple other kannada literature and we also gave a the simple visual solutions for people to do research on the <coughs> uh, uh kannada literature okay moving forward from here we uh, did not wanted to stop here we actually wanted to see if we can actually digitize art history and culture and preserve lot of history uh, in a audio visual format and that is when i actually started the uh, sanchi foundation with couple of my other friends and here we actually document a lot of uh, um, um theater art uh, historical uh, stuff historical talks knowledge series is most of that actually and uh, uh, we wanted to go and uh, capture uh, various hexagon of forms that are available out there and uh, we started actually like uh, putting that together okay and now 
just documenting something is very easy right so many people have been doing it even before us people were doing it but it was not coming out in a very good way very good way in the sense now what you what you are seeing right now here is not just a video but there is a documentation this is something uh, everybody is missing even today okay and this and the other thing is the licensing this entire content is available under creative commons license okay putting content is easy and you all know that uh, wikipedia puts up content but it also tells how that content can be used similarly we wanted all other type of content also to be used under a specific license which makes it easier for people to use it and reuse allow others to reuse it right so we clearly say that okay you can use it for non commercial purpose and we don't actually stop you from using it but while using it please ensure that you actually give a credit or cite the work of someone who has created this so that was the only uh, requirement that we actually put together in front of the people and like this we actually did some very interesting projects uh, people still keep using more most of the stuff that we actually do almost every day right so kavya kanadi these are the, uh, kavya kanadi is something uh, nina sam uh, used to like uh, uh, use in all their uh, uh, dramas and stuff like that so we actually made them requested them to recreate it for the current generation so that's why you see all these videos A lot of directors came together to work on these things okay so these are the things that we did with audio visual stuff so moving forward from there uh, we actually wanted to preserve the books that are out there uh, in various people's attics right so people don't actually care about some of the old books but they keep it in their house doing nothing uh, when we were creating the index of kannada books we found that there are a lot of books which are there in the public domain which can be digitized and made available for pub uh, public as well as preserve the old books so that it actually stays along with us for some more years right so uh, i was uh, talking to uh, one of um, our mentor karl malamath he is from us he is uh, iran's is public resource uh, organization which uh, uh, has taken uh, preserving law and i'm making it accessible to public as uh, uh, one of their uh, missions and uh, he used to come to india to preserve a lot of kannada uh, india related uh, work especially gandhi and we asked why he actually does that in us why can't we actually do it in uh, india and uh, he actually allows us, uh, us to use one of the scanners that you actually see here and the one which you saw in the video also and uh, it was there in bangalore but the indian academy of sciences is not using it so uh, we requested them to give give us some space and also that uh, machine so that we can use it for the public good then we started working in indian academy of sciences in 2019 we started scanning lot of kannada malayalam telugu tamil and uh, english sindhi books okay and many people came forward and they started giving us the old kannada books that were available and uh, that's how today we have uh, more than uh, uh, 17000 books you actually see in the link that i am going to show you but we have done more than 25000 books digitization and we also when we actually finish the work of digitization we move it to specific categories and stuff like that so here we digitize lot of kannada and uh, almost like 14 different uh, uh, language books and uh, uh, it is not just scanning the books right so we also do the ocr optical character recognition so that you can even go ahead and find out in which all page that specific word is available so for example now i'm searching for uh some word and it actually takes me to the respective page okay if the uh, scanning is good and if the ocr has done a better job and if it is i able to identify the text it will show the results very easily so this is what we actually achieved with the digitization projects while working with the internet archive as well as public resource okay we found what works for our languages we worked with another uh, friend of ours who actually runs this india kanun and uh, he helped us figure out how to make this google vision api uh, work for ocr technology then i worked with him to see if tesseract itself can be implemented to internet archive and we implemented tesseract and now 
any book that we upload to internet archive can easily find out the language and also make it accessible uh, for search so you can see that this particular book has been downloaded almost like 4000 4, 4, times right and also you have the full text version of this particular book so if somebody wants to do any research on this they don't really have to use the pdf and keep searching for things in each and every page but directly they can go search for the content directly in unico and uh, this makes the research uh, faster uh, and people ended up loving this particular project so we digitized a lot of people's uh, books with permission and we convinced a lot of uh, the authors and publishers who are around us to give their books re release it under creative commons license so that people don't think that it is just a free work but it is also given under certain conditions right and also uh, through with some freedom to use it reuse it share it and come up with some very interesting research around the language so this is what we have been doing and uh, meanwhile we uh, also started creating small small projects to uh, make things easier for people to access these books so for example digital.sanchia.net it just lists all the books that you saw in uh, internet archive and uh, this is where uh, many of you can actually like uh, start collaborating so for example we i think we have done something similar for uh, tamil and uh, uh, for konkani books so i have konkani dot uh, dot net uh, where we have listed all the konkani books there and uh, tulu dot sanchaya dot net where we have all the tulu books and we have yakshigana books etc so this is just to like make people feel comfortable looking at things that they actually see right but there is lot more that than this we can actually do to make books accessible tell them where they have the free content and we have a lot of content related to kids okay so they can also uh, come and actually enjoy the books and uh, learn from it right so as technology people we can use these resources and create something much better right so whatever you are actually seeing here is just two three minutes job for me to set up something like this but if i had more time and uh, uh, more patience i would have actually done the better things to make the books itself accessible in a better way or possibly we can even create a simple search solution which is better than uh, the internet archive so for example now in internet archive i i'm not just going to a specific book and searching you can see that i'm just directly searching within this particular book it shows how many books have a word called osa uh, and when i click on it it will again show the pages in which it is available okay but for research instead of seeing these thumbnails i might actually want to see the content there itself okay those are the things that we can do just by using simple html css js kind of a knowledge okay so why i'm telling you is because you, i i heard that most of you have learned some of these technology and you are just trying to figure out how to actually use it right so this is the easiest way to make use of your uh, knowledge and make these things better and we know how exactly internet archive works and uh, the i'll just quickly show you this this is a reader okay so bookreader.js it's a javascript based solution it is allowing me to read this book and it also uses this uh, osr layer when you search something it actually shows those uh, words right so it it becomes easier to search those things but this can be embedded into our website itself still take the content from internet archive that is also required because at times people don't like going to a different website when i'm actually creating something like sanchaya right if if they are there they want to sit here uh, search between the content uh, do some search for specific type of uh, categories um, uh, uh, sort this by year sort this by author sort this by publisher so so many more things so 
even if you guys take one one uh, category or things like this possibly in a couple of hours you might actually change the way this entire project looks like right tomorrow we will just take the uh, csv or json file uh, related to uh, tamil and we do the create the similar type of interface maybe in next week you might actually create a simple interface to pull the data from different text files and show that okay in this book uh, which looks like this with a thumbnail and the content in this particular page is having this word so that can be done right here in this particular uh, portal right so these are the things that we can actually do and the indexing of uh, books metadata management and and uh, creating new tools for uh, doing research for example in this website i was not changing any uh, keyboard layout to type in kannada okay and uh, we have made use of a simple javascript uh, plugin built for wikimedia project that is wikipedia right so there we use something called as jquery ime and that actually allows me to change my language and type it in respective language with multiple keyboards we had import Im implemented this long ago maybe almost uh, 10 years ago right now i can just type the word or we also thought people might find it difficult to type so we even split all the vachanas and created 200 uh, flag uh, words and gave them the result here itself how many vachanas how many times it is used but if you really want to go further click on it you'll find the answer and you'll see all the vachanas so why this actually helps me is because i can go back and check in which century which word of kannada was originated or at least it was used for the first time and what was the meaning of that in context with the words adjacent to them right so for people who are from uh, uh, who love literature history and other things they might actually find a technical challenge of finding these type of occurrences we as technologists can go and find a solution and make it easier for them to do their research much faster okay so these are some of the things that i actually wanted to just show off today and see if you guys are interested in playing around with some of these projects we have a, a, a project which actually showcases all the canada uh, fonts the similar thing can be done with uh, uh, tamil telugu and all other projects we just want people to like uh, Uh, take up this and work with us and make it uh, much more better right so what we have done is something very very simple okay one of your own people from chennai actually helped me to build this because i didn't have that time to build this particular tool but there are other things that we want to do with this uh, so that can be like taken up right and uh, we are also working on creating a, a patrika sanchaya wherein we have the old magazines uh, index uh being created in this particular uh, project uh, something very similar to others and you can see that we don't really care about uh, ads revenue or anything from this it's all done for free for ensuring that the literature of kannada is actually retained for the upcoming generations okay i think i have given quite a lot of things uh in last few minutes if you people have any questions i can take we have github repository under sanchaya and you might not understand most of it but yes uh, once you start interacting with us we might actually be able to tell you where we need support and where you people can actually work together so you can see that these are all the different uh, uh, yeah, projects we actually done and made available for people okay i think i'll stop here i will let you people speak now thank you om shri prakash for the wonderful session we really enjoyed whatever you told about the digitalization of uh, kannada through various ways this is the first time we came to know that this has been done for the past 10 plus years i hope some of the javascript libraries you explained like um, for book indexing and all is new to us and people might have noted down and they will do research at later time right and yeah shrini and myself explored the 
uh, digital sanchak and the source code so he was the one who pointed out that something like this can be <laughs> used and uh, uh, a lot of things can be recreated so that's how you have the kanyam's book list uh, whatever he actually shared right so that is also same we have not done too much of changes we have still we have still retained the same styles also yes yeah so it has been almost like 15 plus years work in various different things i have just shown you like three four projects but we have almost like 24 different projects active being used and vachana uh, sanchaya gets almost like a uh, uh, couple of thousand uh, serious researchers using that particular software tool almost every day right so every day i any time you actually log into the uh, analytics you will see people using it so uh, that's how it actually works and there is lot of such requirements for all the languages because once we actually bring all our content into unicode right we can see where our languages are like uh, interlinking with each other and the literature research on inscriptions uh, epigraphies and all other things can be expanded to multiple uh, levels um, for example now we have this uh, epigraphy in indica and karnataka right so the content in that is written in multiple languages kannada english Uh, tamil telugu etc and uh, when we actually started uploading them to internet archive we were able to digitize and ocr all the languages in a single shot so now we can go back to history and see where what uh, village name has been used in different languages and stuff and uh, once you people start actually exploring you will start seeing a lot of new challenges and might be able to come up with uh, a different uh, outlook together for a language problems yes okay. great to know all these things so shrini if you can you can add some more points on this or uh, guys if you have any questions you are free to ask those questions in tamil or in english I can understand Tamil, but I might not be able to speak fluently like you guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, home, home, Shiva Prakash. Like already, you are contributing uh, much to the society, like uh, preserving the lit literary literature of uh, your language. Yeah, we are. Uh, like I have one more suggest. I instead of question, I can say suggestion, or I just want to know whether you have any audio books related to the book. You can, if not, means we can include uh, that also, right? Because uh, part podcast uh, listening is like is like trending, right? So, like when you include the podcast, you can uh, you can try like uh, the the author of the book itself, if he is alive. In, uh, I mean, uh, he can read the book and uh, you can include that audio book. When the author explains the book, it is like uh, we can connect more to it. so that's what i felt like i had a suggestion whether a podcast is already available like audio books that's what uh, sorry i didn't get your name but yeah uh, already audio books are being created in canada uh, from last few years ebooks have come to the mainstream right we i myself have a for profit organization wherein we we support authors and publishers to go digital and we have brought down the dtp process from weeks and months to few hours if there is anybody having a book uh, we cannot into a print ready pdf in no time and we work with our uh, print partners to get their book in the shelf in next few days right and at the same day they actually release even their ebooks and the books can be pub uh, made available across the globe through various uh, ebook platforms So when it comes to audio books i'm not very keen to do any content production as such except what we do with sanchi and other things because my, our concentration is totally different but uh, we have audio book creators and we have some very interesting uh, canada podcast especially uh, around the community radio also we have some very interesting projects happening called jana suddhi wherein uh, science and literature is actually like recorded almost uh, 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 every week and circulated 
effectively uh, for the entire uh, student community in Karnataka, right? And our audiobook producers are doing pretty good, and now the uh, companies like Storytel, etc., coming up and uh, getting these audiobooks produced through um, multiple uh, sources, right? So that's happening. And we also have a few enthusiasts who are doing podcasts on uh, the new books, old books, creating the introduction about uh, audiobooks, uh, with the uh, available books uh, through audio mode. That is also happening on the other side. But in the coming days, uh, what we want to do is make uh, the eSpeak kind of a solution, the open source solution, to be able to read our language text much better than what it is it does today and we uh, the vachana sanchya project that i showed you was made available or accessible for visually challenged when it was launched on the first day itself it means people uh, could actually read the vachana available on that website after searching uh, using eSpeak. so we did try taking care of some of those uh, uh, mm, accessibility problems and i do understand how exactly the audio can make an impact uh, uh, to the elders to the visually challenged and even to a lot of other people who don't really have patience to go through the regular book end to end right so yes uh, it's a good suggestion but yeah uh, it all depends on how big is your community and what the, what it can actually do but uh, once you actually start uh, creating a stable and sustainable working model for projects and even create a simple uh, business around it, right? A lot of things can actually happen for uh, language. Digital Canada itself was a, a dream for many of us because creating uh, a market around ebooks was not that easy. We have a couple of uh, startups who are doing it. I thought of doing again one more again around that. Then I decided I should not do that. I created a different solution altogether, wherein we wanted to replace the workflow of DTP and bring multiple people to do edits on books uh, 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 through remote collaboration. And that's how in last one and a half year we uh, I don't I think I my screen is not shared. Let me share uh, one thing quickly. And uh, through my other company, we produced more than 250 uh, books as ebooks and printed ebooks. We also helped a uh, uh, few people who wanted to do this uh, self publishing books, right? So we told them to hang on and be there wherever they are and work with us through internet uh, platform that we created and create their books. And we today we were able to create new publishers who bring their books on their own through our platform and they also release their books in both print and ebook formats and if they uh, and they also have freedom to uh, release it by themselves put it in uh, various uh, ebook platforms and if uh, next day whenever they're ready they can also work with our partners who create audiobooks and sell it so this way the publishing industry started realizing the need for um, standardizing the way they work with uh, authors and uh, authors right so it is not not about just taking money from author to publish and uh, publish the books but take it as a very serious business to give back the revenues also to them right so remuneration or whatever you call it as so royalties so that started um, hitting on a lot of uh, loopholes that we had in the industry so using technology and standards make, in, make a, it makes a social impact altogether at the end of the day yeah hope i answered your question and beyond that yeah it's uh, like already you're doing such such something amazing but i just want to add to it that's it thank you for answering Wonderful. Yeah. thank you Oh, hi, uh, Om Srini here. Hi, Srini. Yeah, uh, this is the uh, activity about you. And so for this team uh, is a good a bunch of JavaScript developers, and we have a Re React beginner, 
mm-hmm. we have canva js they, they have and through it and uh, they can do anything with javascript okay uh, it's not about the framework they know javascript and they yes. can learn anything new and they can do any wonders so now uh, i want uh, you to share list of action items so that some of us can decide uh, on who can do that uh, at least we need w- what they have to do for you okay so uh, i was showing you some of the projects uh, 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 if someone is interested in fonts right so we have a node js application that we started building it is off way through the- share your screen and maybe want to show something yeah yeah let me do that yeah except javascript everything may be new for even font may yes, be new understand. for yes i understand i totally yeah. understand even if they take time no problem <laughs> we can live with that and we can work with them even for few months so that's totally fine it definitely takes time uh, to do anything so this is one project which uh, i have lot of uh, uh, technical challenges people don't speak okay so fonts are something like your your own handwriting right so you, you actually like try to write a lot of things on internet but uh, you still don't know how to actually use it effectively see how it whether it actually works for print or not and things like that so and people even today don't know how many fonts we really have in kannada right i think that might be the same case even with uh, tamil but yeah so we want to actually solve the problem and that was the first thing that we wanted to resolve with this this is one very interesting project for people who love to play around with fonts and see uh if it can be uh, expanded so there are action items on this so it is whatever you are seeing is a very simple uh, ui uh, that we had actually created to show how how something that you type in kannada uh, looks like and how the font changes actually makes a difference and how exactly the conjunction and s- syllables etc work with the language but we can do much b- beyond this okay so there are a list of things that we have created and if you know how to play around with uh, node js you can work with it okay and if you find this to be more difficult okay one of you can actually work with me in um, fixing uh, these book projects to a uh, tamil version the kanyam's uh, version uh, okay it is allowing me to download the pdf but i don't want people to download the pdf Okay, I will tell you a reason why certain things I do it in a read the metadata of the book. People are a reader, read it, and then look at the other options. So, for example, we actually talk in this book. a license we try to apply the license we also write up a small uh, uh, description on the book so this is more books then we can go ahead and fix the metadata collect it and con- internet archive in the coming future uh, they don't know how to actually change the metadata so keep it in a uh, uh, people have given is correct we can contribute through crowdsourcing so our 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 dependent on the crowdsourcing solutions Just getting a call from my team i will connect back with you just sini avaru varra varaikku idhula enna work pannano idhula fonts oru oru project sollirkaru adu node js la enna sollirkaru இன்னொன்னு சங்க இலக்கியம் 
அப்போ அதெல்லாம் நமக்கு கன்னடா தெரியலங்கறதெல்லாம் ஒரு इशூவா இருக்காது கரெக்ட்டா இல்ல மொழி பிரச்சனை கிடையாது சரி உங்களுக்கு வந்து அந்த டிஸ்ப்ளே பண்றதுல புக் டிஸ்ப்ளே பண்றதுல என்னென்ன ஃபீச்சர் வேணும்னா இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் ஸ்டெர்ச் நல்லா இருக்கணும் மெட்டா டேட்டாவோட இல்ல டெக்ஸ்ட் சர்ச்சோட சேர்த்து தரணும் அதே போல டவுன்லோட் கவுண்டர் இருந்தா நல்லா இருக்கும் இப்ப நீங்க சங்க இலக்கியம் டாட்டோ எல்லாம் பாத்தீங்கன்னா அப்படியே இருக்கும் எத்தனை பேர் டவுன்லோட் பண்ணாங்கன்னு தெரியாது இல்ல எத்தனை பேர் வந்தாங்கன்னு தெரியாது எத்தனை பேர் வந்திருக்காங்க எத்தனை பேர் எந்தெந்த புக் டவுன்லோட் ஆயிருக்கு எது டாப் டவுன்லோட் புக் அந்த மாதிரியான ரிப்போர்ட் கொடுக்க முடியுதுன்னா நல்லா இருக்கும் அந்த ஃபாண்ட் இதுலயுமே வந்து இன்னும் நிறைய ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் தேவை இப்போ ஒரு புது ஃபாண்ட் நம்ம அப்லோட் பண்றோம் அப்படின்னா அது எப்படி டிஸ்பிளே ஆகுங்கிறத அப்படியே காட்டணும் வெறும் சும்மா பேர் மட்டும் காட்டாம இப்ப உங்க கையெழுத்து வடிவில் ஒரு ஃபாண்ட் இருக்குன்னா ஒரு டெக்ஸ்ட் இன்புட் கொடுத்தீங்கன்னா அது ஆன்லைன்லயே அந்த மாதிரி அந்த அந்த ஃபாண்ட் எப்படி தெரியுங்கிறத காட்டணும் அந்த மாதிரி இன்னும் குட்டி குட்டியா நிறைய இம்ப்ரூவ்மெண்ட் அந்த ஃபாண்ட்டுக்குமே இருக்கு அதே போல அதை அப்படியே எடுத்து நம்ம தமிழ்க்கு போடணும் இப்போ ஒரு கனடாக்கு பண்ணியிருக்காருனா கனடாக்கு மட்டும் கிடையாது அது எல்லாமே ஓப்பன் சோர்ஸ் தான் அதை எடுத்து அதே மாதிரி நம்ம தமிழ் இருக்கிற நூத்து கணக்கான ஃபாண்ட்டு நம்ம அதை போட்டு அதை டிஸ்பிளே பண்ணி அதை நம்ம வந்து ஷோ கேட் பண்ணலாம் அந்த மாதிரி இப்போ இவர் வந்து என்ன சொல்லுதுன்னா தமிழ்ல கணியம் என்ன பண்றோமோ அதை கனடாக்கு சென்சரிக்க பண்ணுது ரெண்டுமே ஒரே வேலைகள் தான் செய்யணும் ரொம்ப காலமாவே இருந்துட்டு அதனால வந்து ஒரு ஒரு லாங்குவேஜ் நம்ம இங்க இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் பண்ணா உடனே அவங்க கிட்ட சொல்லுவோம் சங்க இலக்கியம் டாட் ஓரிஜினா முதல்ல பண்ணும் இந்த மாதிரி ஆர்கியோட இருக்கிறத வேற மாதிரி காட்டுறதுக்கு என்ன இருக்குன்னு அவர் தெரியட்டு இருந்தாரு நம்ம அதை தேடி எடுத்து அதை பண்ணிட்டோம் அதை அவங்க கிட்ட கொடுத்தோடனே I'm back, Srini. Hello? Yeah, you're audible. Yes, yeah. So what you are saying is right. So what we do for Canada can be replicated to any language and the, the source code is completely open and available under GPL. Whatever we actually like do can be reused. And with respect to the books thing that you mentioned is perfectly uh, correct. So we need to see, we actually gather the data on how many people come to this website. But beyond that, how many times people click on it, what they like, what they don't like, right? And uh, I will show you guys some other thing. Uh, you might, some of you might know it. Uh, some of you might not even know actually about this particular stuff. Uh, uh, doing annotations, right? So someone who comes to a website, can easily annotate what they actually found, right? And write their own notes by signing up to this particular, uh, this one. So this is a very simple JavaScript plugin, which uh, brings in an interface from a portal called hypothesis.io. I can write a public comment or I can also write a private comment for myself. So these are the things which will make many of our projects interesting. for other people right i can do a quick annotation and uh, store it see chenna basavanna so you can see that okay i created this and make it available for public or i can even see it only for myself or i can also download the very simple uh, xml and share it with other people also so you can share it with others on any of the social media and stuff like that so this helps me bring more people into the discussion on a platform and this same thing can be actually applied even for your books project some people might actually like this book they actually want to annotate what has actually written about uh, this particular book and uh, that might be open data some people might actually come and annotate only the subjects so even that is actually good so a lot of such things can be done around this and uh, the the possibilities are endless yeah, and you might some many of you might not like scrolling like this so you might actually come up with and give us a quick solution right so that can also be done uh, 
yeah so those are the very 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 initial things that you can think of doing here and uh, yeah as i said this book reader can be a part of sanchaya itself and then it it will showcase things there if somebody wants to click on uh, know more about the metadata the way actually uh, you saw the other annotation uh, thing uh, coming up on this portal we can make it appear right here and show the data from internet archive and make them aware of license make them aware of subjects make them aware of the description of the project and so many things so those are all very very simple simple javascript uh, activities that you can actually like take up and once that is over you have a huge pandora box in internet archive which can be opened up to do further projects each book that we actually scan has all the type of data that you can actually download not only uh, the images the complete pdf searchable pdf open uh, uh, text files and xml files uh, everything okay and let's say our layer layer using that you can use simple javascript tricks to show in which all uh, locations of the, that particular book you have the content the way i actually i was showing you how to search the content inside the book that can be visually represented in many different ways so and internet archive is, has got a very simple and minimalistic views but it can be made much more uh, powerful by adding additional features so currently we are uh, setting up a very large uh, server in Inter uh, national law school uh, wherein we want uh, people like you to come and uh, uh, create solutions for us to be able to uh research the data faster this is one of the servers that i am actually setting up this is going to have petabytes of data related to india from internet archive it will it will be served directly from india itself uh, these are some amazing things that are actually happening around us any other questions or queries the newspaper section here also like we have we have just started creating this we, i have the source code in both um, uh, node and rails if you want to learn different languages uh, i would be happy to give you guys an option to come and play around with this and uh, we need to do much more than this we just have we just started playing around with this as well you can see that uh, pre independence and post independence just by looking at the um, address bar you can actually figure out what we are actually trying to do this is uh, the uh, publisher editor and things like that and incidentally we started finding lot of old uh, magazines from various people right and we started actually digitizing in uh, started making it available on uh, internet archive and it's so beauty to look at those old uh, magazines so these are all the old ones that we are digitizing and making it available for public so one of our team also works on konkani so these are all konkani related books and these are the kannada ones that we are doing yeah so can you explain about the font project and what are all the activities uh, you are looking for the font stuff uh, font i need to go back and think <laughs> where i actually stopped this project yes one is having a simple admin portal wherein we can manage the uh, visibility of the fonts and turning off the visibility of the fonts one okay because some of the fonts are not visible for public because they are ansi fonts but there is a possibility of using that font as a web font and still display the font uh, details okay second thing is we need to display the uh, information about the font here which is missing third thing is we need to be able to display the license of the font and the creator of the font and if it is available in 
public domain or open license we should be able to even allow the people to download the latest version of that font from the respective website for example all the google fonts are available in google website we should directly give the link to that website so that will make the phase one of this project complete okay next thing is to expand it further to see how ascii fonts can be made available on the uh, website and tell uh, how many of them are really used for print for creating a regular uh, books how many of them work for pdf how many of them don't work for pdf creation how many of them work with uh, photoshop and other tools possibly we should create a crowdsourcing tool wherein people select a font see how it looks tell us whether they have used that font or not and also tell us whether uh, how they have used the font and if they have any observations on the font say for example if they have an issue with the font we should also be able to capture the uh, error message from those people and uh, screenshots okay so if we do that for all indian fonts we will be able to capture user experience data send it or work with uh, font developers and get those font issues resolved or possibly create a framework uh, which works globally for all the fonts to resolve such issues so this helps us fix the way uh, our languages look in various uh, Uh, devices like mobile phones tablets and uh, laptops desktops etc or different browsers uh, show different fonts in different ways all such issues can be sorted out so this is one one large umbrella project for various wish, issues we have uh, with uh, our indian fonts i think i think that gives you the uh, enormity of the contributions that you people can do for next few years possibly it is not a one or two two days job or one or two months job yes yes we have so many different challenges step by step step by step we can get there fix showing the fonts listing the fonts allow people to contribute the fonts which are not available here uh, identify whether the font is unicode font or a non unicode font display that data capture the information about the usability capture the um, uh, outputs connect these fonts to github repository so that people can work on those things as different uh, projects and resolve the issues and also give them the feedback on which can be used for what type of purpose right so this 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 itself is a huge project for me uh, as someone who is interested in fonts and we can bring in people who know how fonts work and teach you guys uh, how to get some of this uh, information that i was talking about so we have a very interesting font developer uh, in canada she is a woman and she has created worked with both the google as well as uh, adobe and uh, she is working with us on building a few revival fonts revival, revival fonts are nothing but some very old fonts or uh, which are used to print uh, the books in 19 in 1800s right so when the printing started how the book looks it doesn't look the same today right so we actually are creating those fonts to um, uh, help ocr read the old books easily i think kasrini i think that should be that should be good enough for now with this project yeah yeah uh interview good enough to know what we have to do right right so do we have any git kind of thing where we can track the issues and people who are present here they can take the issues and start working on them uh we speaking No, this is, is Mutu. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Mutu. <laughs> Mutu. Most of the projects, I'll tell you, uh, Sanjay doesn't have a huge uh, um, developer community. Okay, it is mostly me who initiate most of these projects, and I have uh, 
my wife working with me on few few of these projects and i have my couple of other uh, colleagues who supported with me with all these projects uh though it looks so huge too many number of projects but we are very very handful of people who doesn't even cross the double digits <laughs> who have initiated and managed to get these projects live okay and uh, the the requirement that I actually told you itself uh, is not written everywhere uh, i had discussion with a couple of uh, developers who worked with me on the um, project earlier and i have that small write ups okay and those things are available and uh, uh, yes as we are discussing it a different thing altogether as a whole um here with kanyam and ourselves it is good to have these requirement itself documented so i can work with you people and i think uh, if i sit for 10 minutes i might be able to put all these things as action items and give it to you we can create a project there on the respective project uh, github repository and uh, we can let people pick whichever uh, item that they like doing and then we can actually request them to do the pull and push uh, requests that can be done yeah okay those titles are enough uh, for those action items the titles are enough so that people can pick and later whenever they want they can have yes. a yes to yes yes whenever they pick it uh, one of us can actually jump in quickly and expand that particular problem statement yes correct yes. so if i say uh, where do we get the uh, details of the uh, font so Uh, intelligently somebody can actually find a solution for that one is a font file itself will have the solution okay while looking at the font itself you just go to the about uh, the properties take a screenshot upload your work is done but converting that to text and putting that into a database and then uh, doing the ui change to show the data to the end user that is your actual uh, problem statement for a developer okay so like this whenever somebody works on a uh, action item i can start working with them and also tell them where to find what and how to solve the issue okay and some of the issues might not be sol solvable for example the nc font related stuff are very very difficult all of you know uh, so that might not be easy to solve but we might be able to um, uh, resolve that issue in a better way by, by having group discussion or by bringing in a fund developer we might be able to find a quick solution for that and in many cases what happens is when we take a issue like this right we might be able to write a small script rather than directly jumping into a design solution right if some of, one of you are good in writing a small shell script in perl or python or bash you might even actually be able to pull out the metadata from the font give it to them in a csv file so that the developer only sits and displays them in the front end so these are all different ways of resolving the same issue that i discussed so that's why i go slow uh, whenever i have a chance to work with someone i actually start discussing with them uh, work closely with them uh, because i am also very uh, practical guy okay i don't simply uh, make plans for certain things and work but we when we plan when we have some time to work on that we go all in and find different ways to resolve the problem and choose the best one and implement it so that the same thing can be applied for other things in future okay that would be better and how uh, yeah. the discussions will be and usually we have for kanyam related projects we have this uh, yes it chat yeah you, you guys are uh, uh, uh um, following the best possible ways i can jump in your in your uh, channel or you can actually create a channel there we have i use slack actually because i have found it easier for me because it is available in almost all my devices so if required if uh, there are few people we can create a uh, slack channel and uh, you people can easily tag us and uh, we can start discussing that is also possible or if you prefer using irc i have no problems i can come there also and be available all the time and follow up on the alerts that i actually get not a problem okay so After i'm a old this... type we all liked uh, irc and stuff okay so it's mm -hmm. always fine 
yeah so after this discussion let me share you the canium foundation project issues which is available in yes. git so you can yes. go through and you can prepare a list of items for us so that yeah yeah i i have seen canium <laughs> uh uh, uh, uh get repository and uh, sanjay is already a pa- partner with kanyam so i don't know how many of you know it yes uh, uh both of us are partners to work on okay so yeah. if we get the similar kind of project issues uh, we can ask these people to jump in and they can start working on that whenever they have doubts they can either through irc or through slack they can contact you will uh, that be fine i think i'm not able to hear you you're not able to hear me one second let me connect with the other device okay i can hear you now sorry Oh, can you hear me now? Yes, yes, I can hear you now. Okay. No, what I told is, I once we get the list of items, we can ask these people to jump in and they can pick whatever they want. And whenever they have doubts, issues, they can come to you through IRC or Slack. Definitely. Okay. And uh, some of the things that I had, I was discussing with Srini is to use uh, the book. Uh, application that you have done for tamil to be reused for kannada so that people find it easier to use okay so that is something that we need to do and if somebody is interested to work with srini to create a lot of uh, tamil books i can give them our platform access to uh, work on reformatting uh, uh, those books and we can create your e-book. recording has stopped yeah uh, better Uh, format and make it available for public okay and we also want to help the foundations at both the sides to be able to raise some funds by selling some of these books in the printed format whichever is there in the public domain or uh, whichever we create under creative commons license etc so that is another project that we actually want to take up so and for all that the platforms are ready technology is ready and uh, uh only thing is people need to start taking up some of these projects and start working if one person takes the responsibility of making kanyam books better we can give the access to the portal import your ebooks make it ready for print format and that project runs that is one project second thing is making uh, the android application that you people have for books work for kannada books we can launch it and make it accessible to public possibly there i might work with you people to uh, make the project work for multiple languages so that when we are working it what we making it work for canada we might actually make it make it work for all the 14 languages that we have worked for right tamil telugu malayalam uh, everything so the project project becomes um, interoperable with multiple languages so i i would be interested in doing that type of collaboration rather than just working it making it work only for canada so that we give a pan india impact by having this collaboration so everybody would be happy to showcase their work to everybody in india rather than just canada people or tamil people or malayalam people and things like that yeah seems like it's a very good idea to have a pan india platform right right Guys, if you have any questions, you can raise questions to Om Shri Prakash. Or Srini, if you have any words, you can go ahead with Srini. Any other? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, if we can get some two or three or more people for uh, the project we have discussed here to start with, it will be good. So maybe uh, we can. Uh, Uh, I can help to write the GitHub issues and make the project into small activities, and then we can mentor on the uh, uh, IRC thing. Maybe. So, uh, uh, Shrini, uh, one question I have: uh, You are going to mentor or uh, along with? Uh, because Om Shri Prakash told uh, he might have av- he might be available in Slack. Or we can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the major thing is we will uh, they will 
the who are doing the project they will join in slack and they will follow whatever rom show is telling and on the ir sheet is just a stand up right they will uh, share the update hey, i am doing this today yesterday i did this tomorrow i will do this i am stuck here i need some help so we can help on what are all the next things which uh, ir sheet just in your one hour it is just for uh, stand up kind of thing so uh, om shri will be leading the entire project and he can mentor for the internal details and i will be just managing the entire uh, activity for all the projects okay so, so uh, the kaniyam irc itself is that channel itself is yeah yeah okay yeah yeah we can use that for stand up okay for detailed discussion they can join the slack and uh, interact with the uh, om anytime is i will actually spread them into different groups so it becomes easier yeah. less noise for the people who are concentrating yeah. on a project yeah. okay shri so how can we ask them to join or when can we ask them to join to irc yeah we will give the details okay okay sure. we'll form one group okay from this discussion we Fine. came to know the number of things the number of projects the ideas whatever om shri prakash did my from my point of view and we have some idea about that but once it is given as a project issue we can start as you told uh, the steps should be needed every step should yeah. be needed and through irc we can make it possible yeah, yeah sure yes i think three of us can actually like quickly sit together maybe any one of these uh, days and yeah. uh, say okay one project uh, for fonts one project for books one project for uh, uh, just the html css and js uh, related activities split that and we can have one more project wherein the um, people who are serious about learning a new language can actually jump in and they can be given a long term uh, activity to learn implement test okay. and de- deploy okay um- two or three of such a project activity can be taken and all of uh, the I am, fit in can i am getting a call will join okay okay yeah, all right okay that looks good okay mr okay. so thank you very much for uh, organizing this i think hope everybody got a lot of inspiration with the kind of projects that we have been doing and even if you don't understand the um language uh, play around with our websites sanchaya.org and uh, sanchifoundation.org uh foundation.org and github.com/sanchaya.digital.sanchaya.net on sort sanchaya.net dot sanchaya.net Okay, so I, I I can keep on <laughs> going, but I'll stop there. So you you guys can actually play around with this, and I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy the videos that you have on sanchifoundation.org. It's available on CC, and we have also done a English subtitling for everything. So that's a very interesting stuff that we have done. We have spent that that the type of time and energy to uh, see that people use it, right? So enjoy that. and if you have any queries do shoot it and uh, comment on our repos or possibly like ping me back uh, once i'm there on your irc and uh, we will also create the slack channels for us to communicate further thank you okay thank you thank you amshu prakash for your time any other final question any other final question okay i'll tell you that let's jump in let's start doing let's start start contributing these kinds of open source projects so these kinds of projects we are actually enriching ourselves as well as the society which is a nice opportunity i request all of us to get involved enjoy and make yourself make your future more bright and prosperous thank you thank you very much we shall have one more session by tomorrow around the same time 11 o'clock udayan will be mentoring his projects tomorrow so let me share you the details later sure thank you okay sir thank you thank you thank you, thank you.